Yeah, initial reaction is obviously uh, thrilled, you know, uh, just proud of the guys, proud of, you know, everybody involved in, in what we do. Um, a bit of an odd game, you know, with the weather delay and uh, the way we start the second half is, uh, I think, disappointing um, and, and a bit of a trend at home, um, something that we focus on and try to get right, but um, a good finish, uh, to be fair. Sometimes you got to hold your hand up, but um, in general, just the mentality to push through and, and continue to continue to push each other and, and know that the goal is going to come from somewhere. Um, and, and I think that's it's just a tribute to how we've been all year, the togetherness, the uh, the mentality of the team, um, the leadership that we have, you know, throughout throughout the group. Um, I think that showed tonight. I think that's why we got the result. Keegan, we've seen the way Cole has responded um, since being left off the Olympic roster. The Olympics start this week, and you know, for it all to culminate into a goal and two assists tonight, just how cool is that to see for you? Yeah, it's. Uh, Obviously disappointing he's been left off. Uh, I think he'd, he'd admit that as well. But, you know, sometimes you need these setbacks, you call them, or, or snubs or, or disappointments in your own career to, to push you to a different level, um, to motivate you to, to perform like you haven't before. Um, just really proud of him. Uh, you know, I think he, he gave an interview soon after that and talked about being better instead of bitter. And um, I hadn't heard that before, but that's uh, – it's awesome, you know. He's, he's still a young kid, and um, you know to respond like that. And you know, Olympics, something that comes around only so often, and, and maybe only have the opportunity once, maybe twice throughout your lifetime. And um, just really mature from him. And uh, and, and then to to be, to be able to respond with a play like that is um, is obviously an, an added bonus and icing on the cake. So um, and uh, and obviously we're enjoying that as a team as well. We're we're kind of the benefactor of that too. So. I'm uh, really happy for him. Keegan, you've now got plenty of experience in rain delays and coming out after <clears throat> rain delays to, you know, a waterslogged pitch and everything. Do you help guys who maybe aren't as familiar with that? Do you have a routine at this point for dealing with these moments? Um, it's really difficult. Uh, that's, all, that's all I've got to say. It's, uh, you know, even if you have been through it before, it's still, it's not natural. And, and um, it's a challenge. Uh, equally mental and physical um, you know the body stiffens up tightens up and you got to kind of force it to go through the same exact routine as you did before the game and um, you're, you're kind of guessing in terms of how to fuel and, and eat slash hydrate because you don't really know when the restart comes um, all a lot of things that, that maybe once you look back on it are excuses but at, at the same time during you're, you're just trying to get it as, as right as you can and um, I think the best way to motivate yourself and motivate the guys is that the other team's going through it as well, and and probably even less comfortable because it's on you know away from home. And um, like I said, I, I still don't think we were happy with the way we started. And obviously conceded early in the second half, but um, came out on the right side of it. Uh, you know, luckily, uh, and thankfully we've only had one this year, and, and we, we had been through six or seven last year, so um, hopefully not too many more this year. Did you go with the Uncrustable or the Marinara? <laughs> uh, I did have an Uncrustable, but um, I kind of regretted it, honestly. I, I, I don't know. Again, you know, I've been through quite a few, yeah. and um, and I had it early in the window, knowing that we were probably going to have an hour plus, and still didn't feel, you know, my best uh, <laughs> early in the second half. So, again, you know, I've been through quite a few. I've, I'm experienced, I, I've, um, and, and I'm still not getting it right. So, uh, it's a challenge. Um, it's difficult because obviously the that in-season um, derby competition for a trophy is very unique, um, and especially how much it means to the the fan base and the organization. So obviously that's that's really important to us. But at the same time, <clears throat> the results in the regular season are, are still what matter. So obviously, you know, I, I think we're thinking first about okay, let's still not be. You know, too crazy and overzealous in terms of pushing for a goal and 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 uh, so much that we concede um, and kind of lose a point. But um, I, I don't know. It, it was it was it was challenging. I, I didn't 
I didn't feel totally convinced that I knew exactly where the goal was coming from. I didn't think we were at our sharpest. I didn't, you know, it's, again, all these things that, that uh, play into what that half looked like, the delay, the field quality, both teams maybe being a little sluggish, being a little uncomfortable, um, maybe subbing differently than they would normally. Uh, you know, less fans in the building than that would have been here um, at the start of the game. Uh, and we came out on the right end of it. Uh, and, and I think oftentimes you feel if you push for games the right way, you push and, and talk about mentality and talk about the approach to things, you'll come out on the right end of it. And that's not always the case, but um, it, it's super validating to, to have those moments, especially in this um, competition. Uh, but like I said, it was uh, it's just a testament to everybody's um, focus, mentality, and, and an ability to to put all those excuses aside and just and just push through and, and um, whether whether we knew exactly where the goal was coming from or not, um, just to continue to, to, to work together and, and and believe that it will. Keegan, how special was it to see Sam open his account on the tonight? Yeah, especially uh, a guy that's from here, um, you know, has obviously been here when I was here um, early on, went away, came back, has family here, you know, has roots here came through the academy and you know, all these types of things um, and you know, as I've said kind of in the week leading up to this match a match and, and a competition that means so much to the organization the fan base everything that, that this club is about um, just so happy for him and uh, I don't know if he did an interview with you this week or what I saw but he talked about his confidence recently and um, something that's definitely going to help that and uh, I'm thrilled for him you know it's he's a guy that I think all of us would say that should feel more confident than apparently he is and um, these little things that as an athlete help help a lot you know those fullbacks aren't ex expected to score very often I, I asked him afterwards I didn't know what he was doing in the box at that moment but <laughs> um, but uh, super happy for him and I think it'll it'll uh, pay dividends for us going forward so coming off the emotional win here bringing home the Rocky Mountain Cup for the first time legitimately since 2020 talk about that and then how do you feel like you can roll over that emotion with the League Cup coming up here in the next days? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it was, uh, it was kind of hard to gather my thoughts afterwards just because it's, um, it's my sixth year here. We've only won it twice. And obviously in recent memory for the club as a whole, it's been, it's been hard to come by to win this trophy. And um, like I said, you know, like I've mentioned, it's, it means so much to the club, to the fan base and the fans. Um, the, the supporters are, are, are what drive the club. and. Um, it was just uh, all the moments after tonight, you know, giving the trophy back to them, all the, you know, guys taking pictures, interacting with the with the fans, the supporters, the people that stick around after a weather delay to still enjoy this. Um, it's so special, and uh, I, I think I think the emotional high will kind of wear off just with the break coming. Um, I don't think we play for you know ten ish days, um, which I think is good. You know, I, I don't think we want to go into the League's Cup. Um, Emotions are, are fun in sports, but at the same time, they can. I, I gave an interview yesterday that talked, and I talked about all these emotions and, and the energy and the, all the things that come around this, this rivalry match, this derby match, are, are just things that take your focus away from what you're trying to do on the day and in the moment. And, um, so we'll kind of reset. We'll have a couple off days. Uh, and the League's Cup is entirely different. It's just a, it's a different competition as a whole and um, something that's new to us, new to the league. Uh, and we're looking forward to it. It'll be fun. You know, the team's in a good way. Um, and uh, we, owe, we owe Portland, uh, uh, you know, after a really poor result early this season. So it'll be Keegan, fun. Keegan, similar to Sam, you know, Johnny, we've seen what he's like at his best getting in with the national team for the Gold Cup in 2021. And this week looked like that version of him. Yeah, I, uh, I talked to Johnny after and uh, and just congratulated him and, and um, commended him for, I've talked about, you know, Lala, Seb, um, any of these guys that step into roles after not playing for a long time and um, and how difficult that is for, for an athlete to stay engaged, to stay ready, to keep your head on your shoulders, to, um, to then perform. Uh, it's, it's, something that people don't realize that you go through a lot of doubt you go through a lot of questioning you know do I still have it am I still good enough uh, do I deserve to start anymore am I out of the mix am I in the mix you know he's not traveling at times or he's not 
subbing on, but he's dressing, and um, it's a testament to him as a player, person, character. It's it's such a challenge. It's it's so difficult and um, such a challenging finish on his first goal, and and had a lot of good moments tonight. Uh, it's just proud of him, happy for him, and. Um, yeah, he's uh, he deserves it. It was uh, it was fun to see. It is exciting. Um, you know, I have a, a couple small you know friendships, just uh, kind of uh, acquaintances from from playing in the league for a while, for, from guys on the All Star roster. But having a guy from your own team is is really special. And um, I was lucky enough to have that also in 2016. But um, It'll be fun, and, and Moist deserves it. You know, I, that was my reaction when I initially found out. Was I felt like other guys, you know, deserved it on this team, and um, he was one of them for sure. And um, I'm excited. It'll be a fun week. Um, it always is, and uh, you know, the league does a good job of putting a lot of uh, good events together and activities and, and all this kind of stuff for the guys to enjoy. So um, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a lot of fun. Keegan, we saw the way Chris took the cup and celebrated with the fans. Just how special, how unique is it to have a coach? Who can you know connect on that level with his players and with his fans? It's uh, it has a lot to do with the success that we're having right now. The the, the way that we interact with each other, the way that we um, perform, the way that we approach uh, matches, and and uh, it's um, it's fun to watch. Um, you know, every day is 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 fun to come in uh, to the to the stadium. Um, Fun to sit down and do video. He, he keeps you engaged. He keeps you on your toes, and um, and he's just uh, he's just relatable. He's just honest. You know, I think last night he was at a some sort of supporters gathering for the for the Rocky Mountain Cup, and um, I don't know that he needs to be there. I don't know that he's asked to be there. I, I don't know, but um, but he talks about it again in in our pre-match meeting about this is this is what you know these these matches are about. Um, and I think his ability to to give the the right messaging um, before big games, before games in general, is is awesome. Um, it's a real uh, it's a real asset that he has that um, that he does really well, uh, along with his communication and and uh, the way that he relates to guys. It's um, and relates to the fans. You saw him like like you said celebrating tonight. It's uh, it's great. You know, it's 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 fun to watch, fun to be a part of, and. Um, he fits right in with us, that's for sure.